Hi, uh, I'm Darren Carter, and what you're seeing here is not just the lobby of the Laugh Factory in Long Beach. You are seeing comedy history. There's a lot of cool things here. Some of the stuff here is, is over five years old, and it's just unbelievable where, how many yard sales that Jamie Masada has been to. It feels good to be here because I'm here with all the greats. We've got Rodney Dangerfield. Chris from Family Guy. He's all grown up. This right here is a Down syndrome. Um, just just a Down syndrome. How's your uh, sex life, Rodney? My sex life's so good. My wife says uh, I have sex almost uh, every night. Almost Monday, almost Tuesday, almost Wednesday. All right, okay. Not right. bad, he's still got it, all right. That's a picture of the Commodores. We don't know why. Um, and one of the weigh-ins got in, the one we don't know. That's the Spinners, a 70s uh, army group. This is a gay Fonzie, I think. This could be anybody, by the way. This could be, and this is the worst wax portrait we have, but I'm guessing it's Jim Carrey. That's Jim Carrey? Are you out of your mind? The owner, Jamie Masada, decided to have his own statue. I look more like Eddie Murphy than the statue of Eddie Murphy. It's really sad. Jamie appraises it for uh, about six million dollars, but we had um, the guy from that A&E show, Pawn Shop or whatever it's called, come in, and he said this is worth about eight dollars. Not even worth eight dollars. It would cost eight dollars to get some Mexican guy in a truck to come here and pick it all up and then go burn it in a lot where we wouldn't get arrested. Over here we got uh, Lamont from Sanford and Son. Sometimes I think if I come here after midnight by myself, how would that feel? It would be pretty scary. Pretty scary. It's just like, huh, what's up? Look at the close-up of Paul Rodriguez. Look at, those, look at those eyes. That's some sad, sad eyes. You know what those eyes are saying? I'm so much funnier than Carlos Mencia. Why him? And he is, by the way. Wynn was the first comedian to use cue cards because of his topical material. Ed Wynn peddled this Tom Thumb piano as a beautiful girl sang on top of it. I mean, wow, you think that texting and driving is hard. Let's try this. We couldn't even get a real piano, you know what I'm saying? We had to get a wooden piano, man. It's a... Uh... Um, I didn't do that. And, oh, I'm not kidding you. I just looked up on the stairs, saw the statue of Whoopi Goldberg, and I thought she was here. <laughs> like she'd ever come here. It's a pity she's wax because she can't walk off this set. You know, remember when Whoopi walked off? <laughs> this is a, a, a frame that was broken by Smoothie. Um, chairs, some chairs to sit down in. This right here, that's where, um, I think that's where Bob Hope got laid for the first time. This couch right here. You'll edit this whole thing. I'm done. <laughs>